Hey guys, Daniel Bates here with the Real Estate Tomato, and today I wanted to give you a quick tutorial on the All in One SEO plugin. Basically, this is the plugin which we recommend for setting up your meta tags or your metadata um, on your website. And this is a, a pretty important SEO function for your website. Um, what this metadata is, is it's something that's not seen by your users when they come to your website, but it's something that the search engines look for instantly. And more often than not, what they take this data and use it for is actually in the description of your website when it shows up in the search engine. So here you can see I've set up as my site-wide title, My McClellanville, McClellanville, South Carolina Real Estate and more. Home description is a local guide to McClellanville's real estate, news, events, attractions, restaurants, schools and more. Search McClellanville Homes and Land. And if I go over to Google and do a search for McClellanville, well, here's my website, and here's exactly what I just read. You know, Google doesn't have to take this metadata, but all things being equal, it often will. And so we want to go ahead and set up a nice, both keyword rich and user friendly and attractive um, title and description for our blog in here. And so I always tell people, you know, Look at what people in your in that are you know do a search for your area and real estate or your area and homes for sale and find out what other people are putting an emphasis on. I often tell people you know what's different about your blog f than anyone else in this one through ten position on Google and highlight that. In my case, you know, mine's really a guide to to the area. It's not you know anything else. There's no other real guides to the area, and so I really went to highlight that on my. Um, description but it's really important again that you do try to include some keywords here if you're in a big area like Toronto or whatever and you work in just a handful of um, select neighborhoods well I would really really try to get those neighborhoods into my keyword description because that's going to help you out with the search engines and and when somebody does a search for that neighborhood well not many other people have um, set up their entire Toronto blog to just talk about those neighborhoods so you're really highlighting yourself not trying to be a jack of all trades but actually specifying on one little title so anyway so to get this set up you're just going to want to go to settings all-in-one SEO and if that option is not there, then you just want to head over to plugins and add that all-in-one SEO blog. Activate it if it's in the directory or go ahead and add it if you're not seeing it. And again, pretty much right when you come in here, all you have to do is click from disable, you have to enable it, and type in a title and a description. And Google has come out and said that this key home keywords, they say that they don't even use this as a factor in determining keyword or a uh, search engine placement but I'm the kind of person that if you give me a blank I'm probably gonna go ahead and fill it in because you really never know Google could decide next week that they want to start using this or Yahoo could come out and say that they're using this so it's not gonna hurt anything is the bottom line all the rest of these settings in here are perfectly fine stock the way they are you just want to come in and click update options when you're finished entering this in now there's one important thing to remember you don't just have all the room in the world to type this it's very limited and for title it is 65 characters or less and a character is a number a letter a space a comma uh, anything is a character so you're really tight on space there down here in home description you've got a little bit more it's 160 characters or less if you go over um, here's an example here I type in coconut grove real estate and our friends the real estate coconut Riley Smith comes up and you can see he's actually gone over on his and he gets this dot 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 and then long time dot 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 well he's not getting credit for anything after that dot 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 so you know try to make sure where you fall on the line the other thing that this plugin does this is your site-wide description here at settings all-in-one SEO it also creates on every page and every post it creates a section way down here called all-in-one SEO so this is my contact page instead of just calling this contact Daniel I could say contact Daniel your McClellanville Realtor description you know contact Daniel at telephone number at email you know and, and put some information in here that way when somebody Google's McClellanville Realtor well maybe this page is more likely to show up that's all I've got to say. Really condensed lesson here on all-in-one SEO. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.